Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend J.E. and myself, Alex Gonzalez, will bring you a product that you never knew you needed. And also, this week, we have a special guest, Dusty Hill, who comes from the podcast Shouting in Place. That's true. That's where I podcast stuff and I shout in a jar. That's part of it. There we go. (laughs) Perfect. How are you guys doing this week? Doing well. How, how are y'all? I've I haven't talked to y'all in a long time. I first time seeing you. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Uh, yeah, no. It's been a it's been a good past few weeks playing a lot of video games. You know what I mean? A lot of video games. For me, I was doing well. Um, I got a confession, guys. I love Kanye West as an artist. I started listening to his music and his rap when uh, he released College Dropout. Like, I was an eight-year-old kid at Sleepover singing, this is a slave ship, I can't make shit. Yeah, so I was like that kid, and I really liked his music early on. Kanye had a bad day yesterday, and it made me feel like... That's putting it lightly. uh, And I... 2020 has taken a lot from us and i'm like not kanye but luckily on in an optimistic note dave Chappelle is there and i think we're gonna be okay <laughs> he's coming to save him so we'll see now we'll dusty see. i <laughs> i'm hoping for the best here uh <laughs> dusty you came this week with an idea that i am very excited to talk about what is that so i've been well, I've been thinking about this since um, before this podcast came out. When you guys are doing, we are we are not game devs. It didn't feel right for that because it's existing IP. Right. But I'm thinking Pokemon meets survival horror. Ooh. And I'm I'm talking about like Pokemon meets Outlast type survival. Horror. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. So I I be, this game would be Pokemon have lost their shit. Probably something to do with Lavender Town. Mm-hmm. as ghost mm-hmm. and it's you know gen one all these wild pokemon and your whole thing you have to like go through the shit find out what's happening to make these pokemon wild as fuck and but you don't have any pokemon of your own okay you're just going around trying to survive and like you're gonna have to like avoid like trying to avoid like roaming scyther that are just gonna like cut your head off if they find you i like and, it Stuff like that. So, and I have, yeah. I have, is it okay? You two are the Pokemon experts. Um, <laughs> I enjoy Pokemon. That's as far as I go, probably. But, <laughs> uh, is it blasphemous to say the thing that's making this Lavender Town um, bad is the same thing that Team Rocket used in that one spin off game for the GameCube? It was like this. Are you talking about Pokemon Coliseum too? No, no, no. Or it Shadow was Pokemon. Gale of Darkness. Gale of Darkness. That one. I didn't play that Ooh, one. It oh, you didn't play that be. one. I didn't play that one. I didn't play that one either. But oh, like, okay. I watch gameplays. Yeah, it. yeah. But it could be. It could be either that, or it could be just like, I don't know. I've been. I was thinking like, like those Pokemon were controlling everything. Are fucking Mewtwo because Mewtwo's fucking all powerful in that game. Well, I, I mean, if it's in Lavender Town, it would have to be a Marowak or a Cubone, right? Not necessarily. Oh, really? Those those were the most famous ghost Pokemon, but there could be some other ones. Well, I mean, <clears throat> that tower specifically in Lavender Town, um, something about there was something I mean, about a Cubone. But, uh, T- Team Rocket had taken and uh, I think had killed Marowak and Cubone was sad about it. Mm. Yeah, and so that's why there's spooky ghosts. But I, I'm just saying it could start in Lavender Town, but like this is like, it's Gen 1, so it's all of Kanto. And would you, so I'm thinking, let's, so first person, right? Like, is what I'm thinking to make I, it scarier, or what do you think? First person will make it scarier, but I'm, to keep it in, I was thinking kind of like third person behind the shoulder. So Okay, um, yeah, yeah. You want this to, we, yeah. you want like traveling. I thought this was all going to be in one town. So I thought it was going to be more like Outlast where it's like in one place. So if that was the case, I would think first person. But if it's like you're traveling around like Resident Evil 4, definitely mm-hmm. has to be like over the shoulder. 
but I don't know what yeah, direction exactly. you want to go. I think I think definitely over the shoulder because also it could let you explore and see like everything in like wild Pokemon that you're like going through r- like roots are going to be actually like scary to do because you can't fight back. It's like yeah. I'll have to run. I think. What do you think about eventually getting like a couple items to help out? Like maybe you have a supply of like one or two berries that you find that you can throw to distract some of them. I don't think a Scyther's mm-hmm. gonna care, but I think no, some no. lower Pokemon. <laughs> well, how about could like definitely the Pokemon Safari or whatever it's called? So you could like throw rocks and <laughs> stuff like that. I mean, that is a thing. Um, I don't know if the I, rocks would do anything. Well, just to like. I don't know, days. Oh, them. to distract, I guess, like, or or to um, make noise to go in a different direction. I could see that. Mm-hmm. I I was also thinking that there, like, you could still have pokeballs and you could try to catch them, but like, that's it. If you catch them and they like, go release, they're just gonna come back at you. And oh, yeah. you could eventually find some pokeballs throughout the thing, but they're gonna be really limited. So they're like, they're an expensive resource. Mm-hmm. So you're going around and there's Pokemon in your way. You can throw a pokeball. And then, like, you eventually get Great Balls and Ultra Balls because the the Pokeball may not work every time. Right. See, I really like this idea because it has the chance, like, all of the, like, the little dungeons and caves can be really scary. Viridian Forest sounds horrifying. If all, like, you go through it and it's dark and you just hear buzzing, and you hear just different insects skittering and crawling, you know, and maybe mm-hmm, they don't do mm-hmm. a lot of damage, but if you take too many, you'll succumb. That sounds crazy already. Or, or Diglett yeah, Cave, like, yeah, like all them the caves, digging holes. Not just that, but like you don't have a Pokemon with Flash. Maybe for one of the caves, you could like, you for a side quest or like main story quest, you hire like someone who has some something with Flash, but otherwise it's just you and Torchlight, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah. maybe... Going, going through a dark tunnel with just like a flashlight. Yeah. And there's still like wild Zubat. <laughs> yeah. And and Geodudes. Dude, Onyx. And, and if friggin- you see an Onyx. Yes. Oh. Oh. Or or what are those things called? The little fungi. Para- oh, like Paris. Paris. Paris yeah. and then Paris egg. Yeah. The you see those things everywhere. Claws. That would be insane if you start growing the pods too. And then like if you succumb, your eyes turn white like Parasect does where you're already taken over by the mushroom. Mm. Yeah. And see, like with all the Pokemon lore, like Pokemon do some dark shit already. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they like they they ease it down to make it for like a kid game, essentially. But I think like Pokemon should do this when it's in Kanto. Everyone fucking loves Kanto. It's Gen mm-hmm. 1. Uh-huh. And um, they already have like Nintendo already owns like not owns right, but they work with like Capcom and stuff and other games where like you know there's like Resident Evil on a Switch, just like do as a Resident Evil engine, but it's Pokemon and it's terrifying. And yeah, you see like a freaking Graveler self destruct, and it's actually going to be dangerous. Or like Clefairy oh, yeah. doing uh, was it Metronome and just fucking shit up. <laughs> I I was even thinking like if you get into uh what's Sabrina's city? It's not Celadon, is it? Uh oh, like Fuchsia. Fuchsia. If you get stuck in Fuchsia, you'll be stuck in like a horror nightmare sequence because there's just a bunch of drowsy around you, like eating your mm-hmm, dreams. Mm-hmm. Oh god. And then you have to get out are, of that. Would it be drowsy is the worst? Just to develop yeah. this character a little bit. What if he and Sabrina have like a relate like not like a romantic relationship but they like are friends and that's like your main contact mm-hmm, or something mm-hmm. in the yeah uh, maybe i i i was thinking it could be um like you start in one of the towns you, like you could probably not pallet town because that's what you think but you start in one of the towns and that's when shit goes down and then like okay i have to get to fuchsia city or like yeah it's me sabrina army to whoever yeah maybe you're um, from golden Goldenrod's Gen Two. What about Cinnabar oh. Island? Like maybe you've been on an island away from. No, I feel like you're. Ghost. I feel like you're a city boy, and you work like as a detective for the police force there. Is what I'm thinking. Oh, you okay. know what I mean. So you're so from. You're, so you're going really Resident Evil. Yeah. So yeah. what's that? What's the big city in Gen One? Where you get um, in the boat? Oh, wait, oh, wait. Uh, the, the boat's Vermillion. Are you talking about? 
uh, the bigger city where yeah, there's the, the big mall. city with the mall. You, yeah. Where you get the Eevee. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And where the, the Game Freak Center is. It's Saffron. Saffron. So I guess you're from there. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can even make it where, like, because Saffron in the game is, like, right next to Fuchsia, but you can't go that yeah. way because there's something that's going on. I'll also so assume the, way around. the best university is there in this area. So. Probably. Probably. I think there is actually a Pokemon school there. Actually, yeah, there is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, so maybe Sabrina and your character met at school and developed a friendship or something. And she's one of the mm-hmm. people, or yeah, and it's early on, and she survived all this because she's psychic and badass, and her Pokemon yeah, yeah. are strong. Well, I when I when I was thinking about this, when I say Pokemon Muscle, I mean literally every Pokemon. So if you if you own Pokemon, they're they're affected by this. Oh no! Yeah, so that means yeah. okay. So she probably has. Well, she has Alakazam, Poke- right? So yeah, he could probably resist it and. Maybe nah. No, I don't, you think so? I don't know. You guys tell me. I mean, Alakazam is smart as fuck, but it, like it depends. Like Pokemon, Pokemon works outside of like normal convention. So, what if the only Pokemon that isn't affected is Slowpoke? Like it's just taking him a while. <laughs> like they're like, no, he's affected, <laughs> well, but he still hasn't gotten to it yet. He hasn't realized. It would also be uh, Psyduck as well. It's probably not as affected. Uh, <laughs> there's so there's know, that some could also be dangerous. Yeah, so there's some Pokemon that aren't affected sometimes. So mm-hmm. poor Slowpoke. I don't think any <laughs> of the Slowpoke in this game are gonna have tails. I think they're all yeah. right because in this, oh, gosh, yeah. is it gonna be all in the dark that, Pokemon? Would you want it to be in that time period where it's like the 90s, or is this more contemporary where this is all past the events of Red and Blue? Do you know what I mean in terms of timeline? Or does this take place anything, before, during, after? If anything, it could be like Pokemon loves their alternate timeline shit. It could be right after the events of like red and blue and you're like in between red and blue and then gold and silver, which is mm. three years apart. Okay. Can we have a mural to one of the champions dying trying to save everybody? <laughs> oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. The slow pokes. Yeah. yeah, freaking Lance. All the slow pokes in this universe have like just a stub for a tail like a very small yeah because growing. all pokemon are evil and what's more delectable to a wild pokemon than a slow poke tail yeah i mean honestly they'll probably be like if the pokemon are going wild they'll probably be even less slow poke than just the tail missing there'll be most oh of the slow my gosh missing. i didn't even think about that the pokemon designs are going to be looking different imagine like tauros with scars from places that had they had gotten bitten and almost eaten and they had survived mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what if we add like or a like, with, like, bloody uh, canto um what what do they call it when there's a pokemon that's from a specific region oh like the versions yeah like, like the low version or, right right so Lowland. maybe the we could introduce new versions of first gen pokemon in this game where they evolve from the events of red and blue yeah freaking pokemon would love that giving more gen one though maybe new baby pokemon yeah. Ooh, that'd be terrifying though. <laughs> it'll be now, evil baby pokemon <laughs> Dusty, since you said that, you are, I had you you made it tempting to make this about Charizard. I was like, let's make Charizard get a new design, and in fact, Charizard's going to be the scary thing. In fact, Charizard's going to follow you follow you the whole game. <laughs> oh man, I, I would think yeah, like a like the main evil thing following you is like a Charizard like like a, one. Yeah, like you could hear um, its its roar in the distance. A Charizard with no wings. It's literally like a crawling salamander. Oh, it oh. turned more dragon-like, yeah. and maybe it drips fire like drool, like almost like a Komodo dragon. Oh, that's if you guys crazy. know what those See, are, that that would be scary. Maybe it's like more beefy. <laughs> like think like mm-hmm. a buff red thirteen. Is that what his name is from Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> like he's a buff one, and he just has dripping <laughs> fire everywhere. Ooh, yeah, stuff like that. And then um, there's like other things. Like I was thinking for this. Because like if it works if like you're a detective already, there is a Pokemon Snap feature where if you're running around, you take pictures of them and figure out okay now I know what to avoid for this. Oh yeah. 
Oh, so you it's can like have, a um, glossary weaknesses thing? and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. That teaches you more about the Pokemon. Yeah. I like that a lot. So we'll, we don't have to have it go through eight different towns. This is our, this is no. our game or your game. Mind, mind you. So you can do what you want. You, it can be set where it's like, we need to get from this town over here or even yeah. do backtracking and go different places. I think like maybe yeah. three, four five towns and then some routes, uh, some forests and some caves in between. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. And we'll have it where it's going to be obviously a mix up of, like an open world and then enclosed spaces because there's always those transition from roots to cities where it's those buildings. And those are going to be terrifying because that's where the blood's going to pull or you're yeah. going to be stuck. Yeah. And it could be like very, very similar to like how Resident Evil games are like Resident Evil two, you could go through and it's really only like three, three to four different areas, but you have to go backtrack and then new stuff is happening in the areas and you go back to them. Mm-hmm. Um, one area you definitely probably had to visit in this game would be the power plant for sure. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Just like a, maybe there's like a mission where you have to turn the power back on and it's just a mm-hmm. whole, just a dark power plant and there's just electabuzzes. Oh, and there's like, and, yeah, um, literal mines. Voltorbs. Yeah. Elector. Yeah. Electro, elect- like you see an electabuzz walking by and he steps on a Voltorb and he just explodes. Yeah. And you're mm-hmm. like, ah, uh speaking of what if like there's also like what if you run into the fucking legendary like you go to the power plant mm. and there's like a demented zapdos trying to fuck you up. oh yeah and you can't so yeah. you have to like you, can't fight you have to it. run away from it mm-hmm. yeah that could be like a huge set piece part where it's just like a giant runaway sequence type of thing and mm-hmm. yeah and i could totally see that like where birds do a certain thing here that's kind of terrifying even though they're so small where I could see mm-hmm. Zapdos looking up at you like it's pecking something and you just see like a Pokemon in its beak, hanging from its beak as it's looking at you. Birds do that here and no shit. They're like yeah. one tenth my size. And I was like, you guys are from <laughs> dinosaurs for sure. Nope, if nope. a Zapdos did that to me while I was in there, I'm like, oh no, what is that hanging yeah, from its beak? Like it's like a buzz or something. Yeah, yeah just like <laughs> limp. Another epic thing we have to do when you get to Bill's lighthouse you do see like a 200 foot Dragonite for whatever reason that doesn't exist anywhere else <laughs> except for that one episode. Exactly. Oh, and then there's like maybe Bill got stuck in the transformation. So Bill is actually stuck as like a dependent Pokemon. Mm. Oh, you have to kill Bill. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> wow. Nice. I there's like there's one thing I thought that also like would have to be in the game. You run into like a wild Porygon and then you get sucked into like the digital version of the game and it looks like red and blue, gold and silver. Oh, oh that'd like be dope. The, that is so you have to cool. go through it and then figure out what's going on and how to get out. Yeah. You know how hyped and I would be? it has like the text box and everything. Yeah. Yeah, right? If like you It'll went be... and it shrinks like how it does in Pokemon before you move. Where it's like, do, do, mm-hmm. do, do. Yeah, from like when you make your character name him and shit and then he goes mm-hmm. into the little spirit that they make. That's that's And then it's quiet idea. and then it just starts out with Lavender Town music and then it shows your character and you're like, what? Yeah, and then it wouldn't even be like you talking. It would be the freaking like text mm-hmm. chat going down the bottom of the screen. <laughs> That's cool. That is a cool little feature. Yeah. yeah See, like, like that. that alone's like I would fucking kill for this game. <laughs> and that's something that wouldn't be advertised anywhere yeah. in the game. No, no advertising anywhere. People actually playing it for the first time would find that out, and that alone would sell the game. Yeah, I'd like that. For a so lot. many people. That is a crazy idea. There... So, I'll go for that. How long do you see this game being? Like, what kind of story are we looking at here? Because I could see it being any type of length where it could be a little bit shorter. It could be medium length. Mm-hmm. I It would be somewhere, I would say it would be on the shorter side, maybe like a six, seven hour game. But one of those things where there's multiple playthroughs. Oh, yeah. Where like maybe, maybe even there's different characters that you're trying to reach the same goal. So you're one character and you start in Saffron and you're another character. You start in like Pewter City. How about I would go, I'd go out of my way to encounter different Pokemon in different playthroughs too, just to see them. So another 
thing that we don't tell anyone in any of the marketing. So you play through the game, right? And you're playing as this detective guy. But throughout the story that you're we're telling in this game, you have a guy who's kind of like a rival who's also trying to figure out what's happening. But he's more of a private investigator. He's doing this on another contract or whatever. And then you mm-hmm. beat the game and every credits roll. And then it's like, new game plus and then you play as that rival character and then you do his whole storyline and it's like a complete like his whole side of what's happening while your character from the first playthrough is doing their whole thing that's can we can we make eventually a human pokemon hybrid almost like bill but i'm just imagining like a dude with red eyes he has like um not Metagross. What's the Beldum arm on one side and then like different oh. Pokemon plugged into him? Ooh. That, I mean, that Would could that be, be going too far though? Am I going too far now? I don't know. That could that could be something. I mean, that could be Bill. Oh yeah. Yeah. That could be Bill's experiment gone wrong. Yeah, just different pieces of Pokemon, but it doesn't work out that well, so he's swollen. Oh, I'd be so scared. Oh, we would this have This is the thing yeah. I would I like just thinking about it. I'm like, oh no. It's still Pokemon though. So how would would he just change back after you beat him? Or it's just like No, I don't think this is well, a no, game with a lot of happy stuff happening. No, it's not. It'll be <laughs> and like I I think like for stuff like that, there'd probably be a couple like le- like quote unquote levels or areas of the game where you have to like fight a boss and it's like a puzzle kind of thing so for that like you're going through like bill's lab and you have to find a way like while he's chasing you as it's demented pokemon thing you have to find a way to stop it or get him back into like the transmutation thing or just like find a way to electrocute him with all his lab equipment or stuff like that and that could be different parts of the game like going up to like the final area which could be fucking whatever like, honestly, I still think, like, maybe the final area is really in Cave and you have to figure out that actually is Mewtwo doing all this. Mm. And, yeah, that's where you get um, a lot of the scarier Pokemon, for sure. So oh, like the, all be... the final evolution versions of everything. Mm-hmm. And... You're going to see Golduck and stuff. And, and and we have to do, on top of all that, we have to do at least one water level where there's tentacles and tentacruels, like, grabbing at you and trying to pull you down. And Oh, yeah, you just yeah, see tentacles from, uh, coming out of the water and also ooh, just beaks. Ooh. Yeah. I, I'm thinking ooh. there's so many possibilities where different forests and caves, we can really highlight different Pokemon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and then like for Gen 1, we could even include all the Pokemon, but like they don't have to be all the ones like following you or quote unquote hunting you down or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Can we have a creepy ass mission where you go through like a small village and all the people you're just walking through and all the people are kind of just doing their own thing and then one you ask one a question he just turns to you and he has like tiny little beady eyes and like oh, a no. tiny little weird smile <laughs> and it's just ditto and it's just di- the whole oh village my is oh just my ditto. no not even that just a town of dittos and mimikus oh we can't do dit mimikyu damn yeah just <laughs> dittos that would be so that- scary maybe they're like a new form of ditto that could do like some crazy transformation or Mm -hmm. or and then one day like i just see you waking up from drowsy's dream and then you feel like you're stuck in a box and you just see a mr mime walk slowly over and you can't see where you're stuck and now you're in an invisible maze and there's Mm -hmm. other pokemon stuck too in it like you could go anywhere. Like there's all kinds of different scenarios. Cause let's be real. These are murder machines. There's 151 different murder machines to work with. Exactly. Yeah. Even like, even like a freaking gang of wild rattata. Yeah. Yeah. That are like with those freaking buck teeth. Yeah. And they can be little hordes too. Um, like a plague's tale where they're just like piles of rattata all like swarming. They could mm-hmm. be like uh land piranhas taking care of and stripping to the bone, different Pokemon that have fallen. Oh, that would be scary. Just going down like Route 1, you just see like like Caterpie skeletons and other Rattata skeletons. Yeah. And like maybe you see a bigger Pokemon, like maybe a Nidoran, and you see a bunch of Rattata picking at it as they slowly fade mm-hmm. into the bushes. And you're like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, this this game could be like some real good shit. And like Pokemon doesn't do really them, but they should. Right. Because this yeah. game would sell so fast. So for the final thing, I guess... We should add where 
where do you see this game popping up? Do you see it on all consoles? I mean, I, there there is some scary stuff on the Switch now. I mean, honestly, I mean, it's Nintendo. It would have to be the Switch. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Pokemon with a, with a Pokemon IP? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do, so, I do have and, one thing that's been, like, picking at my brain that I've been trying to figure out the solution for. But if you give the guy the ability to catch Pokemon... What is he doing with the caught Pokemon if he does happen to catch him? Because then players would be like, "Why can't I just use the Pokemon?" What if? I mean, I, I, I feel like it would give you the option. Like we could give people the option just to fuck with them. Hey, you catch it, you release it, and then just starts attacking you again. Oh, because it's then, evil. Yeah, yeah. I would then maybe try different stuff. Where if you chuck the Pokeball far enough, you can create a distraction. Like all of a sudden, oh, like yeah. where you're like, oh, dude, Pincer, you think you're tough? Check out this Scyther, buddy. He is crazy. And you just throw him out and you see Scyther. And you're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He haunts my dreams. Oh, maybe now he haunts that, yours. That yeah. Maybe true. then like if you see a wild uh, Rabidash out there, then you could like if you caught a uh, horsey or like something before you just summon a water Pokemon and then you could have them like duke it out like Far Cry style. Like as long mm -hmm. there would be unintended consequences because remember the Pokemon are acting on their own. So I could see things where if you send out too small of a Pokemon to too big of a Pokemon, it's just going to run away. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. horsey is the first thing that came to mind. I'm sure there's a better <laughs> okay. example. I'm sorry yeah, that yeah. I'm not, I can't pull anything better. <laughs> no, no, than it's a cool. Horsey. Like, like a Blastoise for sure. No, well, I, I don't see where think you're you going. could just have a Blastoise just in your back pocket. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll, we'll you have go. to find it first and yeah. hope it doesn't cheat you. That could be like a legendary I, side quest going to find like Blastoise, Charizard, and like Venusaur. Like the final evolutions of things could be like hard to find, epic mini bosses that you have to do like side mini bosses kind of like valkyrie from mm -hmm. god of war oh yeah no that'd be awesome and you could have different little set pieces and designs for those individual pokemon based on that yeah i yeah, like exactly. it and yeah. also it would um appease the other fans because i said that charizard is going to be the main villain so you have to put <laughs> the other starters in somewhere you somewhere uh, yeah yeah because jay if you don't know people do not like how much charizard is being used I mean, you tell me all the time, if I'm going to be honest. Okay. Oh, I do. Okay. <laughs> well, Pokemon Company, make this happen. Thanks for yes. listening. If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write in at atpoundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the At Pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Thank you, Dusty, for joining us today with your great idea. Um, of course. You can find Dusty on Twitter at Dusty Hill, spelled D-U-S-T-E-H-I-L-L, -L, and on mm -hmm. the podcast, Shouting in Place, which at this time, where we're at in America with what Kanye's doing, we need that more than ever. <laughs> Yeah, and hopefully I could get y'all on at some point because <laughs> I'm trying to reach out to everybody. For sure, man. Cool. We'd love to have you. All right. And next week, Jay's idea will be... Shoot, is it my idea? It could be mine. <laughs> what was the last one? Um, the last one was Jay's, to be fair. I yeah, listened. the last one was it... Yeah, was it, it was make mine. Ball happen? It was mine. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> What's your idea? Well, why do you get week? so mad? Why do you get so mad? Okay. Caught me, uh, you caught me off guard here. <laughs> so my idea is going to be dogs. Like like the animal? I'm going to I'm going to know I'm going to do a product having to do with dogs. Do dog like Yeah, specifically dog feet. We're making Wait, like the, we're gonna like make, the animal? Yes, what else? What else I is don't there? Know. And that's where we'll leave it. Is there <laughs> anything else besides dogs? Like dogs? Like you guys think like maybe like I'm like I'm ex like X like gonna give it to you, dog? <laughs> like what's up, dog? Yeah, I don't know, dude. Like I I could, I could, I didn't I didn't catch it. <laughs> catch the dog. <laughs>